mostly with tree newel here. So you hear a lot about oak trees in North Texas. We got a lot of different species in North Texas, but how do you identify when you've got an oak tree in your yard? I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can do that. One way we can identify oak trees is the presence of acorns. Since all oak trees have male and female flowers, they all produce acorns. Acorn is the seed of an oak tree. And this is where the mighty oak actually originates is in this little acorn. So as you can see, it's got two parts. We've got the acorn, which is inside here. And then we have the acorn cup, which holds it and attaches it to the tree. Now on white oak species, these acorns form every year in the spring and then they mature and fall in the autumn. Whereas on our red oak species, it takes two years for one to mature. One might mature on an every other year basis. It takes two years to complete the cycle. One acorn on a red oak that forms in the spring of one year will mature in the fall of the following year. This is a white oak acorn from a post oak tree. Another way that we can identify oak trees is by the leaves. As you can see, we've got two different leaf shapes here. This is a post oak leaf, which has a rounded lobe, which is indicative of most white oaks. And this is a red oak leaf, which has pointed lobes, which is indicative of most of our red oak species. Another characteristic of oak leaves is that they're deciduous. They come out with brand new leaves in the spring, and then the tree grows through the growing season. And then at the end of the growing season, the leaves fall off and they're deciduous. Now, some live oaks are green throughout the year, and we have other species such as water oak that are what we call partially deciduous or semi-deciduous. They might hang on to some green leaves throughout the winter, but they do drop some of their leaves. One more way that we can identify oak trees is by the branching habit. This is what we call an alternate branching arrangement where the leaves come off in alternating sides on the tree. One last way to identify oak trees is by the bark. They tend to have this grayish green bark that has varying textures and scales. Sometimes it can be darker, such as on black jack oak or live oak. Sometimes it can be lighter colored, such as on red oaks. But most bark on oak trees does tend to be uh, textured in like this. One last thing about oak trees in our area is that sometimes they need some special care. So if you think you've got some oak trees in your yard that need some special love, please come see us at treenewell.com or give us a call to set up a consultation with one of our ISA certified arborists.